This is part 51 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create an image carousel using the Bootstrap carousel plugin. Here is the image carousel that we want to create. For the purpose of this demo, we are going to make use of these four images that come with the Windows operating system. First, let's create a div element. Let's give it an ID. Let's call this image carousel. And on this div element, I'm going to use carousel class, which is going to create a carousel. When the carousel moves from one slide to another slide, we want sliding animation effect. So to get that sliding animation effect, I'm going to use slide class along with the carousel class. And the time interval between each slide transition should be two seconds. So I'm going to specify that using data dash interval attribute. And the value for this is in milliseconds. Since we want two seconds as the interval, I'm going to specify 2000. This attribute is optional. If we don't specify that, it's going to use its default, which is five seconds. Inside this development, I'm going to create another development with class carousel inner. So this development is going to act as the container for all our slides within the carousel. So inside this, I'm going to create a development with class item. So the slide itself is encapsulated inside this development. So for example, if you want five slides within your carousel, then you are going to have five developments with class item. And then within this development, we can have text and images. So first, let's include an image element. And the source attribute of this is going to point to the desert image within the images folder. Let's make our image responsive by using img responsive class. And then notice on the slide, we have got little caption here. To get that caption, we are going to create a div element with class carousel caption. And inside this, let's create an h3 element. The text is going to be desert. Let's create a paragraph element. And the text is beautiful desert. So at the moment, we have got one slide within our carousel. And notice we have got four images here. So if we want four slides within our carousel, we are going to have four developments with class item. And each image element will be pointing to a different image. And the captions will also be different. So in the interest of time, I have already typed the required HTML. So let's copy these three developments, which are going to represent three slides for us, and paste them within our carousel. Let's save our changes, reload our web page. Notice we don't get the carousel at all. That's because we haven't told which slide within the carousel to be active. So let's say, for example, we want this first slide to be active. So along with the item class, I'm also going to use the active class. Let's save our changes reload this web page. Now notice we get the carousel. But we have a problem here. It doesn't move from one slide to another. That's because we haven't activated the carousel. To activate the carousel, we are going to use a different attribute. And that is data dash ride. I'm going to set that to carousel. Let's save our changes. Let's reload this. And at this point, notice the carousel slides from one image to another. We can also activate the carousel manually using JavaScript. At the moment, we are using data dash attribute. Let's remove this, save our changes, reload our web page. Now notice it won't move from one slide to another. So let's activate the carousel manually using JavaScript. So within our jQuery ready function, let's find our carousel div. We have given it an ID, image carousel. So let's find that using the jQuery ID selector. And then on this, let's call carousel function. Let's save our changes, reload this. Now, notice the carousel moves from one slide to another. And notice at the bottom of the slide, we've got four circles here, indicating that we've got four slides within the carousel. And at the moment, the second slide is active. Let's see how to get these little circle indicators. To create the carousel indicators, we are going to create an ordered list with class carousel indicators. Inside this, 
let's create a list item and on this I'm going to set data dash target attribute. The value for this is the ID of our carousel which is image carousel. I'm going to use another data dash attribute and that is data dash slide two. This first list item within this unordered list represents this first circle indicator. When we click on this first circle indicator, the carousel should move to the first slide. So the value for this data dash slide two is going to be the number of the slide. And the slide number is zero index space. So if you want to go to the first slide, the value should be zero. If you want to go to the second slide, the value should be one, so on and so forth. So when we click on this first list item, we want the carousel to go to the first slide. So the value is going to be zero. Within our carousel, we've got four images. That means we want four circle indicators. So let's make three more copies of this list item and then change the value for data dash slide two attribute. And when the page initially loads, you know, we want our first circle indicator to be active. So on this first list item, I'm also going to use active class. Let's save our changes, reload our web page. Notice now we've got those little circle indicators. And as the carousel moves from one slide to another, the respective slide indicator is active. Now, if you look at this slide right here, notice we also have got buttons on the left and right hand side. When we click the button on the left hand side, we want the carousel to move to the previous slide. And when we click on the next button, we want it to move to the next slide. So let's see how to get these two buttons now. To get these carousel control buttons, I'm going to scroll down and just after this carousel in a div, I'm going to use an anchor element, set its href attribute pointing to the ID of our carousel, which is image carousel. And the class on this is going to be carousel control. Since we want the button on the left hand side, I'm also going to use the left class. And I'm going to use data dash slide attribute. When we click on the button on the left hand side, we want the carousel to go to the previous slide. So the value for this is going to be prev standing for previous. And then we want the button itself. So to get the button, we are going to use the bootstrap glyph icon. So let's use a span element with class glyph icon. And we want the chevron left glyph icon. So glyph icon chevron left. And to get the button on the right hand side, I'm going to make a copy of this anchor element. And I'm going to change this class to right. And the value for this is going to be next because we want to go to the next slide. And the image is going to be glyph icon chevron right. So let's see what changes. Reload our web page. Notice we get the left and right buttons and we can use these control buttons now to move to the previous or next slide. So when I click on the left hand side button, notice we go to the previous slide. When I click on this one, we go to the next slide. Now let's look at few other options that are available to customize the behavior of this carousel plugin. At the moment, the carousel moves from one slide to another slide continuously. It doesn't stop at the last slide. From the last slide, it goes back to the first slide and then it continues until last slide. So it never ends that. Now if you want to stop the slideshow at the last slide, then use data wrap attribute and set it to false. So at this point when we reload this, notice that slideshow is going to stop at the last slide. The default value for data wrap attribute is true. Notice the slideshow is stopped at the last slide. Let's change the value of data wrap attribute to true. Save our changes. Reload our web page. Notice the slideshow starts again. At this point, when I hover over the carousel, look at what happens. The slideshow pauses. And when we move the mouse away from the carousel, the slideshow resumes again. If you want to stop the ability to pause on hover, then set data dash pause attribute to false. The default value for this attribute is true. Let's save our changes, reload our web page. And at this point, look at this. When I hover the mouse over, the slide shoe is not paused. The value for this data interval attribute at the moment is 2000 milliseconds. If we set it to false, it's going to disable the slideshow altogether. 
it will not move from one slide to another slide automatically if you want to move from one slide to another slide you can do that either by clicking on these buttons or using these little circle indicators at the bottom so here we have got bootstrap carousel classes that we have used in this demo and on this slide we have got carousel attributes which we just discussed thank you for listening and have a great day